Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the difference between block elements and the inline elements. In the previous video, we have learned what is the meaning of an HTML element and what are the things that exist in the that consists in the HTML element we have seen. Now we need to know about the different cat types of elements that are available. So we understood about the structure of the element. Now we need to know about the different types of elements that are available in the HTML. Now normally what I can say is there are two types of HTML elements in HTML. That is one is the block level element and the inline level element. Whatever the elements, HTML elements, whether it may be a div, div element or what I can say div tag or a p tag or a, a or anything, whatever may be the elements, HTML elements that are present, it comes under either block level element or inline level element. So it can it, it it will exist. It will it will belong to any either of this category. Either it could be a block level element or an inline level element. Now, in order to understand about this block level element and inline element, first we need to understand about the what are the properties if an element is a block level element, and what are the properties that will exhibit if it is an inline level element. Let's try to see in this video. Now, block versus inline elements. There are two important categories of elements to know in the HTML. That is one is block level elements and another one is an inline level elements. So this is the thing we have discussed up to now. Block level elements form a visible block on a page. Okay. So this is the definition. Block level elements form a visible block on a page. A block level element appears on a new line following the content that precedes it. So it will always the block level element takes the new line following the content that precedes it. So if you have a if it has a content precedes it, it will take a new line and it will take it will it will display the content the block level content. So this is the main thing. Any content that follows a block level content element. So that means any content that comes after the block level element also appears on a new line. Block level elements are usually structural elements on the page. So these are usually structural elements on the page. For example, a block level element might represent headings, paragraphs, lists, navigation, menus or footers. So the block level elements which, which comes under the block level elements are headings that means h1 tags, paragraphs, p tag, list means ulli's, navigation, nav tags, menus means normal things and footers. Block level element wouldn't be nested inside an inline element. This is another condition, another rule. A block level element will, will not exist inside an inline element. Okay. So it will not be block level element will not present inside an inline element, but it might be nested inside another block level element and block level element can exist inside a block level element, but a block level element will not exist inside an inline level element. So this is another rule. Now comes to the inline level element. Inline elements are contained within the block level elements and surrounded only small parts of the document's content. So it will take whatever the content that is sufficient for that one. So whatever the width that is sufficient for that content, it will take that patch part only. It will not take the entire line. Whereas inline level elements. Inline element will not cause a new line to appear in the document. So inline level elements will not take a new line, will not appear new line whereas the block level elements will take the entire new line it is typically used with the text for example anchor element uh, creates a hyperlink and elements such as em or strong creates emphasis so this is the difference between block level elements and the inline level elements let's try to see the practical representation of this one how the block level elements and the inline level elements behave in the html document now i have opened here HTML thing. I am creating a new file, something like sample.html. Okay, sorry. Let's rename this one sample.html. So we 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 need to create the file name using like this, something like sample.html. So this is the file name. So .html is the extension. So .html is extension. By this we will be able to know that this is a HTML file. Now let's try to do HTML and all those things. So I am create. I am writing the wireframe for this HTML thing. We'll discuss about these all things. What is a doc type? What is an HTML? And all those things we'll discuss. So let's try to see 
now about the block level elements and the inline level elements so here i am having a div tag okay so i am taking a div tag so this is a div tag div tag is a block level element now let's try to see it's a block element okay now here i am writing that i am a block level element so this is the block thing so now comments we should give something like this okay so this is a block level element now let's try to see what could be the output so if i want to see the output i can open it in the live server so let's open this one so this is the live server so here you will be able to see i am a block level element so this is a block level element so you will be able to see the content that is visible here now what i will try to do is i will try to do this i will try to copy and paste the same content here i am a block level element now what will happen here now let's try to see the output now if you try to see the output so again i am a block level element instead of coming beside this block level element first first content it is coming in the second content why because as this one is a block level element it will take the new line okay whatever the line it will take the new line and it will also as it is a block level element it will not allow the another one to come beside this one so this is the property of this one now let's try to take the inline level element now here i am writing inline level element that is nothing but a span tag so this is inline element okay so here i am writing something like inline elements so here i am writing the about the inline elements now let's try to see the output if you try to see the output here you will be able to see that this is an inline element with the new line why because at the top the, uh, it is a block level element so it will not allow the content to come beside this block level element so that is the reason so this has taken the new line so now this is inline element this is an inline element now let's try to write another one so i am writing another span down here now where this content will appear now if you try to see this content i will appear beside this inline level element so this is this is the difference between the block level elements and the inline level elements inline level elements will take the space whatever the for whatever the content that much is uh, is necessary that much only the content it will take whereas the block level element will block the entire line so where uh, any any level any element if, if you want to come means it will not allow to come beside this one it will it will take a new line so this is the difference between the block level elements and the inline level elements and also another di another difference what we another property what we have learned is so we should not allow we should not we should not have for example let's say that i have an inline element and i cannot write this is inline and i cannot write a block level element inside this one okay so this one is not correct so now if i try to see the output here you will be able to see like this right but here we are having a inline level element inside the inline level element we are writing the block level element so this is not the correct way so the output will come as this is an html markup language it will not show you any errors the output will come but here the logic is the inline level elements okay will not should uh, the block level element should not be inside a inline inline level elements whereas if it is a block level element at the top and here the block level inside the so now so this is wrong okay so this is wrong and what is correct is for example if you are having something like block level element at the top okay block level element at the top and here this is a inline level so now this one is supported okay this is block inside sorry this is inline inside block okay so now this is supported now if you want to have a block inside block also it's fine it's correct so you are having a div and if you want to div here so this is also supported okay block inside block this is also supported but here this is wrong okay block inside block present inside inline wrong okay so this is the difference this is the main uh, uh, rules that you need to remember so block level takes the new line 
inline level elements will, ta will not take the new line and also in the in inside the inline you should not add the block level elements whereas in the block level you can add the block level elements or also you can add the inline level elements also so this is uh, this is what the difference between block level elements and the inline level elements hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you